Hey, what's up guys? It's Catherine, and I'm going to be making a DIY thing, but it is art. Why not related? <sighs> I have all these papers. I'm looking at them right now because it's a mess, and it's not the... I've had this, like, set up for, I mean, years, like, that I've had my studio when I was at the old place. It's, like, getting bigger and bigger, and it's just a mess, and I can't see what I have, and I can't use it if I can't see what I have. I've always wanted flat files just because when I was in school and stuff, when I was in college, always, like, uh, the printmaking lab had this gigantic stack of these flat files, and I always thought that that would be really good for paper storage. They're really expensive. You can get, like, three or four drawers for, like, $500, and they're really nice. They're metal. But I don't really, I can't afford that. I was asking a friend of mine if he could make them for me, and he was like, uh, it'd just be cheaper if if you just bought it. Fine. So I wanted to find another inexpensive way to store my um, paper pads flat so that they can be seen and they can be used. And on Amazon, I found some boxes that I thought would be perfect. I don't know. I haven't opened them up yet. I have them right here next to me, so we're going to see if they work. Um, this is also a perfect time to tell you about Audible. I'm just kidding. I'm not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Obviously. Why would I got my boxes. Took two days. They shipped on Prime. This um, set of 10 boxes here, they were like $40 or something like that. So that's a pretty good price. Like when you buy moving boxes, they're very expensive, especially like good cardboard like this. I'm hoping that it's good. When they don't charge me like $40 for some cardboard, like I think it should be good. That's what we're going to do today. And then I also thought that it would be nice if they were like slightly decorative. So I also found this paper stuff. This one's called Leafy Vines. I got two of those and two of these um, geometrics. It's something that you want to do. Um, I'm literally just winging it. I have no plan. Um, I had a vision in my head and now we're going with it. Hoping that it's going to be cool and that it's good. So that was like 40 bucks. These pieces of uh, rolls of paper came to about $12. $12. My sound just died down here. I don't have any more AA batteries, so hopefully this is okay. So I thought I would just talk to you guys a little bit like while I'm working on this. It's not really a tutorial. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. Use this. These. I think I'll be needing this. And probably this too. Okay, so I glued the boxes together and then wrapped them like presents and then I glued them to each other. I love the way that it looks even though it does lean a little bit to the left. <laughs> that one's got some gross, some gross stuff on the outside. That's a little, ooh. I stared at it too hard and it fell off. Ew. Okay, so anyways, I have a few things I want to tell you about. So, I've been working full-time for the last uh, 10, 11 months um, at the store um, that I mentioned in my last haul video. So it was retail, and I literally don't have much time for anything else other than working 40 hours, being exhausted, coming home, and like putting myself, whatever I have left, into working on my projects, paintings, embroidery, things like that for my portfolio. Um, to get it in shape for my graduate school applications, which are due at the end of the year. So, however, I applied for this residency called um, the Creative Projects Housing Project or TCHB. I don't know what, what it, I don't know. I don't know exactly what it, the acronym is, but it's an artist in residency program. So, if you're chosen, you are a resident for two years, which means that they will give you a free studio and sub subsidized a living space for two years also at the goat farm in west midtown if you have any idea anything about atlanta you will know that that is where my old studio was for that i was at for like almost two years so i applied for this residency back in august and two months later so september 27th which was my 27th birthday it's my golden birthday um, I got an email saying that I made it to the final round. Uh, so out of 85 Atlanta-based artists, I am one of 13 who will be interviewed and chosen to fill six spaces. Ah! Oh my gosh, this is literally life-changing if I were to get this. I am so beyond excited. So if I'm able to get the residency, I can put off graduate school for two years and I won't have to work at the store anymore um, just work my other job which brings me to my next point so I've been nannying um, for the month of September I started so I'm going to my second month right now um, 
two boys ages five and eight. So I make more money doing that than I do managing at the retail store. Um, so now I have like the ability and motivation and stuff to like make some videos. So, um, yeah, it's really good. So I'll just be working for them, um, part time. So 20 hours a week, just on weekdays and just working on art, which is what I want to do with my life. And lastly, I just want to show you guys a few things that have been going on in the studio. I don't know if I ever showed this, but this is now finished. Uh, I'm going to turn it sideways for the full shot. And some close-ups. Especially love this one. Right there. And this is what I'm working on right now. Um, so here it is. A five foot canvas. It's on the easel right now because I'm gessoing it. So there's my gesso station down there. Um, this is embroidery. So I'm going to zoom in here closely so you can kind of see the texture. Gosh, I just think that's so amazing how it um, eventually will have like such depth. And this is the back. Pretty crazy looking. And that's why, mostly why, I wanted to do it on a canvas, like directly and then just gesso over top. Because um, I thought that, that that just would look so cool instead of just doing it on like a separate thing and then you know, either sewing it down just along the edges or, you know, and, and then not being able to see the back. I think the back is just as interesting. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for subscribing, even though I haven't posted any videos in months. Thank you for bearing with me and not writing me off and watching this video to the end, even though I haven't posted anything in like several, several months. Um, I have another video up coming really soon. Uh, it's going to be the studio tour, so look forward to that, and I look forward to seeing you guys a lot more often. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!